Exciting news came out in the National Football League today. Um, a favorite of mine, Stefan Diggs, shout out to the entire Diggs family, um, got traded from the Bills today. That wasn't shocking because we kind of expected he would be traded, but he got traded to the Texans. That's big because they had a very surprising year last year. Uh, they got Daniel Hunter from my beloved Vikings. Stefan Diggs is also a former Viking, so I like to see them reconnected, even though um, everyone's succeeding outside of Minnesota. I'm not a fan of that. But I think the Texans are going to make a move. I'm not calling them a Super Bowl pick, but I think they took a step further into their progression. And I'm going to say this is going to be a little, you know, I like to rile up these fans, Cowboys fans. They're the most exciting team in Texas. What do you guys think? Yeah, um, I'm okay with the move with the Bills, man. Uh, do you ever win with a diva receiver? Let's think about it. Terrell Owens, no. Uh, Randy Moss, no. He got close, but that's when he wasn't acting as such as of a diva. Uh, Antonio Brown, they won with him, but he was the third fiddle by that time. He wasn't the man. So um, I think it's time that you just cut off the leg, man. And, and, and try to walk with one leg for Buffalo, man. It, it might be better if this leg is giving you so much problems. And Stephon Dix has been giving them hella problems on the sidelines, on Twitter, in the background. And he's one of those receivers, like, you just don't like on a team. Like, you like his fire, but sometimes when you can't control that fire and it's hard to put out that flame, it, it, it burns up the whole team. So when the receivers, like, he's one of those receivers, like, He's always saying, I'm open. <laughs> no matter what the fuck is going on, is I'm open. Like, and Josh Allen's like, well, I seen the safety right over the top of you, and I had a guy wide-ass open right here, so I threw it to him. No, nah, well, that play ain't get it how I wanted to go. Throw the ball to me. And that really is not the typical way of winning football games. Sometimes it, it, it fucks up the locker room. It fucks up the quarterback mindset of his reads, and he, he – he, he don't know where to throw the ball or who to put the ball to. And now the whole the whole situation, the whole team, the whole foundation that they built is fucked up. And it was just time. It was time to go. Time to go the other way. I go my way. Let's work. It is already starting to get older. You 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 get rid of the person while he still has value. You got a second round pick out of it. You, you take that and you, and you you find somebody else, somebody who's gonna mesh with your your star quarterback, and you roll from there. That's that's basically what I see. And for the Texas side of it, if if he comes there under control, I mean, for the first season, players are usually at their best. The second season, who knows, third season, they really start acting out. But if they could get something out of the first season of him being on good behavior, and then they added the DN from the Vikings, they added Mixon. Woo, there, there. I'm still not betting against Mahomes. And Lamar Jackson still got some things to prove and, and, and get some shit right over there with their offense on the receiver side. But... I have the Texans third. I'm not putting them above Baltimore yet or the Chiefs. So that's why I have them third. Uh, I think this is the move that had to get done by Buffalo. Uh, the Stefan Diggs story was over up there. He is an absolute diva. And he was a crybaby a year ago, two years ago. He was a, cry, a bigger crybaby this year. He didn't perform this year. He had 13 straight games where he didn't have 100 yards even in games where he caught balls, but he seems like I, I, again, I'm not, a, I don't live in Buffalo. I don't have the scoop on Buffalo, but it, I think that you could f slot receivers in with Josh Allen and he can make, and he can help. He can be successful. I think he's a great quarterback and you give him, a, you, you can like, I mean, look, Pat Mahomes was one with Dudu and Boo Boo at wide receiver. I mean, yeah, he had a great tight end, and, but. And Kaka. And, Okay, do the boo boo and caca, <laughs> and, and, and that's who he had as wide receiver, and he and he won another Super Bowl with that. I'm not saying Josh Allen is Patrick Mahomes level, but can the Bills get back to the division? You know, the divisional round can or the AFC Championship? Yeah, uh, I know they've lost players. That's football. You know, we know what happens. They're 
guys go off of a cliff real fast. It, you know, the Dolphins just picked up the Bills' safety, Poyer. Um, I hope we get the version that played in Buffalo, not a version that is no longer good because the Dolphins have a tendency to do that, get guys when they're whoop, like that. Um, but I think it's a great move for Buffalo. Now, you have to, at this point, you have to know that if they're making that move, the relationship with him and Allen was trash, done. I mean, even he tweeted the other day some comment where someone said Josh Allen can do whatever without him, and he replied, you sure? Like, that's diva shit, man. I don't want that on my team at this point. For Houston, though, C.J. Stroud had a great rookie year. You have a great coach in Ryan's. That's a really up-and-coming team. Could he help them that? Fr- I think you got one year out of his ass, though. I don't think he's a long-term solution there. He's 30 years old. He's not getting faster. He's not getting better. We need this whole thing where players say, I'm in my best shape. Ever. You're not. Nick, when were you in your best shape? When you were 25? Not when you were 35. Hey, hey, <laughs> when my best physical ability was at 31. I, I kid you not. I well, you didn't, okay, you, you didn't play college football, so you didn't have four years of getting your ass kicked in college as well. And you didn't play high school football in your junior and senior years. So you, you, you minus six years of smacks, you know, you're, you were younger in your body. I think, I think your peak is probably like 28, 30, 31, yeah. but, but it's, like, it's about to fall off real soon. So you might have one, and it looked like he already was kind of going down. He was down already going this direction. So, I, I mean, they got him for nothing. I mean, they got him for nothing. They, 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 I mean, they got him for a box of Skittles for Christ's sake. They're still they, paying you know. it. They got dead cap on him. So it's yeah, like, I, you know, Buffalo really wanted to get rid of him. Oh, that, that's what that's that. what I was gonna say. If they, Buffalo, if you gave up, I think there's, there's dead cap money. Like you really wanted to get rid of his ass. He's a problem. I think they went, that, they went into more dead cap money by trading him. It could be addition by subtraction in <laughs> Buffalo. And sometimes we'll that see. work in football, people think it's just about the best. Players, it's about how well you mesh, man, and, yeah. and how much you trust in your your sidekick and, and other players to do their job. And you're coming into a, a good work environment that you want to work in and be a part of the team. So everybody think, oh, it's just about throwing players together, mixing and matching. No, this all this shit has to have to be like on one accord, bro. Because if it's not, then you're gonna lose a lot of games. And now they start questioning you, and now you start doing all the shit that you were doing back in Buffalo. And all that shit go back down the drain, bro. It's all about being cohesive in football. Matter of fact, that's any damn sport except for tennis, right? Tennis, uh, any in the, golf, golf, you know, track. That, th- those, not, the four, not, not the four by one hundred or four by four, team but sports anything else. Not always about just having the best players, man. I, I play with some great players who just weren't good in the locker room, man. You didn't want to be around them. You didn't want to play for them. They cost you by doing dumb shit. They get they get flags on them that cost you fifteen yards. They don't come to practice. On time, they they're late to meetings, things of that nature, and all that shit fucks up the whole chemistry or the vibe of things. You and you just don't win like that. You don't win like that in sports. I can tell you that one thousand percent. But hey, man, the first year, like I said, he will be on great behavior more than likely, and this is the time to take advantage of it. They have a couple of good receivers over there. Like I said, Mixon, you got uh the tight end that came from the Cowboys. Yes, yeah, Dalton Schoen, I believe. Or whatever his name is, something like that. Or was Dalton Show my teammate? Schultz or not? So um, there you go. Dalton Show my teammate in Winnipeg. I'm sorry. Uh, so I know so, they got a tight end. I know so, they got a tight end. So, from the Cowboys. So, from the Cowboys. Yeah, so, because he talked he talk shit about the Cowboys. Yeah. I believe. So, they yeah. have a nice thing going, and they added that DN who, who gets like 15 sacks a year from Minnesota. So, I got nothing left. I, I mean, they, I think they got a year or two with that, and then they're looking for somebody else. But, but I think, hey, for what they got, what, what they gave for him. Give it a try. Give it up. Give it a try. That's fair. Uh, heck, Texans have nothing to lose and everything to gain in that trade. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.